Well, uh, a good model, and you know that it was written by John Dunn. And already you have uh, read it, so can anyone share how many stanzas are there in the poem? Three stanzas. Yes. Three stanzas. And it's a really an interesting poem. So we are going there one by one. Okay. Uh, <coughs> First of all, we will try to highlight some views. Already, this is one of the pictures you have seen. The picture indicates a word. It's a town or the village. The village. It's a, obviously a village one. Okay. Uh, very natural. Nature is there. Calm and quiet. Eh? Uh, so it indicates that simplicity is there. How it is related with the point later on we will discuss one after another. But you should try to see and observe and evaluate all the views very closely. What it is, why uh, I have used the colors here. Then uh, next one. So the scenery is very familiar to you. In our country we see all the children when they were kids they were living in their villages or they used to live in their village even we used to live in our village we try to do it naturally and without having any reason no one even insisted no one, one uh, even encouraged you to do that but to follow is there any um, uh, uh, things can, can anyone explain these things how to you cope up with this to expose your what simplicity to expose your innocence ideas mind you have done it whenever you are in church next one very interesting and familiar to you we used to do it when we were in village even the children who live in the village they are also doing the same thing. They jump it when, whenever they have got any uh, the jumping, jumping, diving uh, over the water, and they try to what jump over the from the tree or bank of the river, bank of the pond as well. The next one is very familiar to you are habituated with it as well. Now question, how these are related with the poem, as you have read the poem. And only the good morning actually is a poem of love. But so far we have seen that the pictures are not showing uh, those things. The pictures are telling something else. Country activities, are, sorry. How? This kind of joy. Anything else? It is showing the connectivity with uh, nature. To love nature. Powerful nature. Powerful actually. nature. But yes. love, how love is connected or uh, relevant with the nature? Or close to the nature? Because of his childhood. The love comes always after childhood. Whenever you are becoming uh, an yeah. adult. Or in an adolescence age. But in that time he doesn't know, the boy doesn't know what love is. What he is doing. Doing unknowingly. Innocent love. Okay. Love. The next one is also interesting, you see. I think most of you have the experience also. Hmm? To collect the juice, dead juice for the tree, the group of companions. Hmm? It's interesting. Do you have any experience? Okay, another invention is coming for you. Very to us. We used to, we used to die, drive it and we play with it. Next one, almost the same. You have experiences. Why you are doing, why you are pulling, you don't know, but you get the pleasure. 
and these are the bit close to the poem to understand the theme of the poem. Next one. So before it, we at first we are trying to analyze something else. What consists? Consists. We know that but Morrow is considered as a metaphysical poem and John Donne is considered as a metaphysical poem. So what consists? A consist is a composition between two far-based things. Far-based. In the last class we told. These are the beyond our imagination and to dissimilar but beyond our imagination physical existence actually this type of things whenever you are compared these are called the word metaphysical conceits okay the things compared are openly dissimilar this kind of comparison creates surprise among the readers and gives the pleasure of discovery in the good model there are several consist what the consist are used at first we try to highlight those things first of all the comparison between the unaware lovers and the breast feedback is already in a picture we may have shown it. Breast feeding back. The relationship between the mother and child should not be compared with the adult boy and girl's love. These are the completely dissimilar. But you have seen that whenever the baby is were taking the breast of what? mother when a mother feeds her baby male so the relationship is very innocent very simple similarly whenever two young couple fall in love and they love each other and if their mind is fresh their activities their every things should be considered with the breastfeeding baby that's why it is connected but have you noticed these are beyond our imagination. We have never thought such a way that love affection can be like that. It indicates our innocence of the love. Innocence of the love. Don't forget it. And the second comparison between the unconscious lovers and seven sleepers who slept for 200 years. Later on, uh, uh, we'll discuss it in details. The comparison between the lovers micro world and the real world two hemispheres with the two hemispheres we have seen uh, that uh, it is compared the comparison between the two hemispheres and the two lovers next we are going to explain about the seven slippers then do you have any idea about the seven slippers then explain what type of illusion it is what is an illusion not illusion Illusion and illusion, these are the different. What is an illusion? So references. References, close references are taken from the different sources. There are four kinds of illusion. One is biblical or religion, another historical, another geographical, and fourth one is cultural. And this is what type of this is? Biblical, biblical references. Okay, obviously. So this is the seventh slippers and you have seen there is a den for example there is an artist review we have seen how many uh, people are there how many people are there seven. seven they are the brothers do you know the history of the seventh slippers den can anyone mention please uh, there were the seven young boys and uh, uh, after and? We know <coughs> the reference is taken from the Bible. It means it indicates it is a biblical allusion, re reference, and it is related with the Christian. According to the Christian belief or the Bible, we know that one day <coughs> in a state, in a kingship, there was a king who goes against the religion. But these seven brothers protested against the ruling king. Even the king became also a tyrant, a lot of great war. He suppressed the people, dominated the people. Brutal. 
That's why these seven brothers protested. But one day, the king realizes that if the seven brothers are allowed to do it frequently, most of the people will be or will be what? Goes against the king. They will go against the will go against the king, and the, there will be a revolution. Better to kill them. That's why he has sent a number of soldiers to catch them and to make them dead. So whenever the news goes to the seven brothers, they thought that they should leave the state and they have decided <coughs> that they should drive away to somewhere else. But whenever they started running towards in that time the soldiers are also driving them. Whenever they reaches to the upper of the hill, there was a cave, they became tired. They entered the cave or den and whenever they entered the cave, suddenly a huge stone blocked, blocked the mouth of the, or the door of the cave. And the soldiers tries to remove it, but they failed. And they thought that the seven brothers must die as number of soldiers tries to remove it. So they came back. And whenever the seven brothers entered the cave, as they were tired and they became asleep. They got asleep. And how long they slept there? 200 years, two centuries, 200 years. After 200 years, whenever they got, they woke up and they felt that they are hungry now. They were hungry. So it's better to come out. And whenever they come, to the mouth of the cave, automatically the stone removed. And they came out and they went to the local market. They purchased some goods and commodities and the foods. But problem arise there. But whenever they paid the money, the traders could understand that the currency is not available now. And one of the traders understood that. These are the those seven brothers to whom they have heard the news. Okay? This is the reason. So, it's true. Now question to you. Why the love affection between or of two couples are compared to the seven slippers jail? Their sleep. Can anyone tell that? Their uh, love will be Is it possible? Sir, no. it's because of the bonding. Because when the soldiers came, the brothers never did each other. And they always supported. And it is one of the reasons, another? Anyone can support or anyone can act? Maybe um, they were unaware of the um, facts. <coughs> unaware about the facts. facts uh, outside that cave. And um, maybe the speaker wanted to compare uh, the person that the lover beloved, the speaker and his beloved. Maybe they were unaware of their mistakes. Their yeah, existence. Long lasting relationships. Long lasting relationships. They sleep two, two centuries. But they just feel that they are, uh, they are different as sleep as six or seven years. Six, six or seven hours. hours. Six or seven hours. But Shorter sleep, they thought. They thought. But it was, it was like two centuries. So their love is compared with this. this uh, unconscious and they are aware of love. So you, you, from our practical life, you will see that whenever a couple, a uh, 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 young boy or a young girl fall in love, we see that they spend how many hours they don't know. What they are doing, whenever they started their gossiping from the very beginning, the sun sets and they thought, no, oh, only if we, we talked to each other only a few minutes. How they have passed their time, they don't know. It's unconscious love. It's there. So similarly, it happens. Okay. Frequently, you see that. Frequently, I asked a question uh, myself. What? Whenever we go to the park, we see that the couples are gossiping and gossiping year hours after hours. But what they actually talk to each other? 
This is my curiosity. We don't know. We don't know. That's why it is what? It is compared to the servant's liberty. Similarly, you will see that this couple will intend that oh tomorrow at the morning or the 10 or 12 we will come here again and they are talking and talking and talking but their words are not were finished ended so it is like that okay that's why it is coming have you ever talked to in this way? <laughs> that's a great question to you <laughs> okay this is what? two hemispheres two hemispheres so the love of two couple a couple is compared to this hemisphere. This is another conceit we have already put. Now, already we have mentioned this one. The scenery is breastfeeding, breastfeeding scenery, the relationship between a child and a mother when a child is breastfeeding. Okay? So, now we are going to analyze the point. So what is it? The poem one by one we'll uh, we'll talk to. So how many lines uh, consist uh, in the poem? Can anyone mention? Seven lines in each stanza. Seven lines each stanza. Okay. This. I wonder. By my thoughts. I wonder, wonder means the word, so I by my thoughts. Was thou and I, you and I, did till we loved? Did till we loved? It's a rhetorical question. He's asking, have we loved such a way in that time? And more interestingly, you will see that the first standard indicates a past tense. They are early came. Love activities as is revealed here. Were not we went till then? Were not we till then? So, it went means what here? When a child just leave to what? A child is not allowed to feed the breast of his mother. That way. So, this is a very unconscious way. They were very kids whenever. They fall in love each other. Actually, they fall in what? They fall in love each other. Not in that time. They what? They, when they were adult, they were mature. They fall in love. But their love activities is compared the relationship with the mother and a child. Then sucked on the country plays a childishly. It's a natural question here. Childishly. What? Such on country pleasures. Childishly. What does it mean that? It means that already we have shown some a number of images. A number of images. Those images tell us that whenever we did something else when we were child, we didn't know why we only for the pleasure. Frequently you were punished, but you could not bother them. Rather you enjoyed it. Similarly, number of struggles is there and pleasure. You have done it. And it indicates also what your innocent activities, your innocent mind is there. Or snorted we in seven slippers then. It is another rhetorical question. Why? Here the activities is compared with seven slippers then. Activities. Whenever they make, they fall in love with each other. They don't know why they do it. Next one. It was so. But these all pleasure, fancies be, you have seen, honeycomb, for example, whenever you see that there is a flower, the honeys are become, I mean, sorry, the bees have become very busy to call it nectar to make honey. So similarly, all pleasure, fancies be, whenever the bees are moving from one flower to another flower, one garden to another flower, they are so much pleased because they are happy to call it more and more nectar to make more honey. Similarly, whenever we fall in love, we exchange our ideas. This is completely full of pleasure. If every, so if ever any beauty I did see, which I desired and got, it was but a dream of thee. In our practical life, we utter God. 
he, whether you are hypocrite one or you are a true lover, you utter the same thing. Oh, what I dreamt, what I desire, I thought it were in your face. You are nothing but what I desire. I'm ready with you. What I desire, what I want, it is not but you. So this is the symbol of the love, deep love. The hypocrite also uttered the same thing. Eh? Later on he says that, oh, one day I was quite emotional, that's why I said it. Anyway, now you have seen that, uh, can anyone explain the rhyme scheme of the poem? First of all, you have seen what I, A, then B, B, C, B, C, C, B, B, then D, B, D, D, it should be what? C, 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 okay, that pronounced, uh, sorry, the sound of the last, similar, why should we say that it's a blank verse, what is a blank verse, you don't understand, later on I will talk to you, okay, that's all, I will, Whenever we go to the next stanza, then you can prove it, whether it's a blank verse or not. Blank verse doesn't depend on the single stanza. Okay, it depends, it should, we should go to the next stanza as well. Whenever, whenever two or the, all the stanza consists of the similar, yes, there are some conditions. First of all, equal right lines should have each and every stanza. And all the stanza must have the same, same rhyme scheme. If these are, it is not a blank verse. If the rhyme scheme is a different meter, is the ambic pentameter or topic meter or dictatorial or k anaphase. In that time, we should say that it's a blank verse. So only we have got one stanza's rhyme scheme. So we should go to the next one. Anyway, uh, next one. How many uh, metaphysical conceit we have got from the very first stanza? Can anyone mention, please? How many metaphysical can see? First one, obviously, country pleasure, wind, till then. Hmm? Then, seven super vein, and fences be. These are. And at the same time, how many rhetorical questions are there? Two only? Four. First one, did till we loved, still we love each other like that way, one support, how we loved or used to love. Second one, wait till then, this is another rhetorical question. And third one, such can be played at least it is third one. And fourth one, their love is compared, obviously, their love is compared to the seven slippers then, and the answer lies there. That's why it is also rhetorical question. Anyway. Have you got any scissora here? Have you got any scissora here? Which one? Hmm? It was so. Just go there. It was so. But this, all page offenses. So how many times have you stopped there? One, two, two times you have stopped there. And you don't forget that this is what? The symbol of scissora. Okay? Next one, we have seen that uh, already he has mentioned that this is also as well. How many, uh, is there uh, any run on line or end stop line? Thou and I did till we loved. This is the continuation of the previous line. So that's why it is a run on line. But whenever we go there, uh, which one? The these lines. We see that this is the end stop line because it was so. But these all players, Francis, B. This is the end stop line, okay? So a number of things we have. Have you uh, noticed any uh, uh, alliteration, assonance, consonance here? You have seen that you mentioned that the <laughs> field, the field, the field, these yes. three consonants are repeated and the same sounds are produced, that's why. And these are the very close at the same time, 
Okay, these are the repetition of the consonant sounds. So these are alliteration, not the assonants, not the consonants. Okay. Then seven sleepers. Seven sleepers. Then this is a what? This is uh, alliteration. Uh, these are containing. But whenever we consider e, b, and these are what? Assonants. You see that. And you have noticed all the consonants are the different. All the consonants are the different. Uh, that's why these are the assonants. Okay? Anything else? So I think you can understand how to identify these things. Okay? Anyway, next uh, one we are going there. Okay, please. The second standard. And now, good morrow. And now, good morrow is to our waking souls. So you see that. And the very first now indicates that they are talking about the present condition of the lovers, of the couple. So first one is the past tense. Past time indicates this is the present moment they are talking. Morrow to our waking souls. Waking souls means what? Conscious or unconscious? Conscious soul is there. What they are doing now? They know, they feel, they can evaluate, they can understand. Then, which watch not one another out of fear. Out of fear. You know that. For example, one day, uh, one thing I would like just to say that uh, it is almost 9 or 10 p.m. So, if I tell that, uh, if I ask her that, you can go the boy to your house. She may, what, feel frightened. Because the boy is unknown. Whenever the boy, the man is very known to him, completely they will be out of fear. Yeah. Similarly here what? We to us not one another are out of fear. Nowadays they are not fearing, they are not frightening, they are not doubting any other. They, they have the faith, they have the trust on each other. That's why they can go, they can spend their time together. And for love, all love of other sides can uh, control and make one little room and everywhere there is this where you have seen it as well and make one little room and everywhere, everywhere. so makes one little room and everywhere what does it mean that I, I explained it like that way the, the couple become shameless wherever they go they think that what we do no one can see it if you have any experience to go to the parks, you will see the number of couples are sitting together. But what they are doing, they are not bothering the other one. What does it mean? That it indicates that they, each and every couple make a room wherever they go. Wherever they go. So, similar thing happens home regarding this couple as well. And let's see, discoveries to new walls have begun. So the discoverers are discovering new words. Discoverers are discovering the new words. But here the speaker, here the man declares that let them do their own work. It is not our task. It is not our task. Why? Because if they do it and if we follow them, if we pay our attention, by this time we may not love each other. So we don't want to waste a single moment rather by this time, we should love each other, which is uh, change our love. And let maps to other. The words on word have shown. Let maps to other. What does it mean that? Whenever the discovers, discover the land. To draw a skill the map as well. So do them. Let them to do their own work. We should not, we should not bother them, we should not waste a single moment, rather we should love each other. Why? Because tomorrow we do, will survive or not, we don't know. Whether we get in a chance to love each other, we don't know. But we should love when, as we have got the time. Let us pause this one word, each and one, and is one. It's a word, a repetition, you have seen that. It's a parallelism as well, okay? What? Let us possess one word. Frequently we mention that you and I are the two bodies, 
but we want so that's why the, here they speak it declares and possess one word each has one okay. though we have the individual word he is one he emphasized he repeated the same thing okay that's what love you can say that now let us come back first of all we should see that this is a this is b this is what you say a, a this is b this is b then uh, sorry uh, sorry a uh, bit a bit uh, uh, made we have mistake that it should be what it should be uh, soul souls and it is what control so obviously a and it is everywhere not uh, b uh, if we are yes obviously b this is not b this is what should be c c c in the previous study we have seen also the last three were also c okay gun shown and on okay and what is this leg plus leg plus leg leg plus something leg plus something and leg plus something the third the last three lines this is called anapura this is called anapura anapura means whenever more than one line started with the same word or the same phrases that is called anapura this are repetitions okay and you have seen that there are a number of uh, uh, sizora and some others as well alliteration number of alliterations are there as the assonance concern ram online end stop lines are available okay so we'll go the next stage sir and assonance form to a quarter line minimum two two lines more than one My face is my face in thy thine eye, and we know that in practical life people are saying that. Hey, where I have seen myself in your eyes, you know, for hate, and there's I looking that way, and thine in my my affairs, thine in my affairs, thine in my affairs. Where have I found you, or how you will find you? In my eyes, so it's a reflection, both sides. And you have seen that this is also parallelism. The structurally they are repeated and opposite reduplication as well. Later we'll in, uh, explain it in detail. Then the two plain hearts do in the very stressed. Where can we find to better hemisphere? This is another metaphysical conceit you have seen. When can we find to better hemispheres without sharp knot, without declining west? What does it mean that word? Without knot, sir. Why he has mentioned that knot? Knot on a cold side. Cold. And without declining west means death. We are declining. Death. West means the sun is declining, setting. It indicates what death. So until the death, until our body becomes the free. Our love will be the same thing, and you have seen that all the lines are what indicates which tense, which time, future, not the present. Then, whatever whatever days was not mixed equally, whatever days was not mixed equally. If our two loves be one, or thou and I loves you alike, that nine days taken, none can die. So if our love is continued like this way, however we are loving, never we can die. Our love will never as well. Okay? Please try to find out the rhyme scheme of the stranger. What should be? This is A. This is B. This is A. This is B. This is C. This is C. This is C. You have seen that. The same rhyme schemes we have got, and there's equal lines as well. So these is these are the. Sir, I just I just. Sir, so I, I, I uh, sorry equally. It will be different. Sir, I die. Sorry, I die. I die. I die. I die. Equally, it should not be. C, C, D, D. Okay. Sir, how long have you been with that moon rhyme scheme? This is the regular rhyme scheme or irregular rhyme scheme? Irregular. Obviously, this is completely irregular rhyme scheme. 
Okay, it's the irregular rhyme scheme. So, it, as it is the irregular rhyme scheme, we should not say it's a what? Lyric poem. We must say that it's a what? Line verse. That this is the, con the condition full pitch. Okay. Though one thing just we have uh, seen that this is the exceptional, all the stand the consist of the seven lines. Sir, like that way you can see that these are the what? C, 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 okay? Is it clear now? So, what is the poem about? It's a poem about what? Love. The true or platonic love of a couple. And the very first stanza indicates their early childhood's life, love. And the second one is the indication that the present. And this is, he directly mentioned that this is the conscious love. This is the conscious love, not the unconscious love as well. And the third stanza indicates of which tense? Future tense. Okay? Future time. So there are a number of questions, you know that. The questions are there. First one, what is the poem about? Already you have mentioned that. Analyze the meter of each lines and uh, you should try to uh, understand the stress and unstress. Without understanding stress and unstress, you cannot, okay? And uh, find out the tone of the poem. What type of tone is it? Can anyone tell that? If this is the sadistic tone, revolutionary tone, or the happiest or joyous tone. Happy. Happy. Extreme joyous. They have even don't know how long they have passed each other. How joyous they are. Can you imagine? And then what is the rhyme scheme? And find out the rhyme scheme of the poem already we have mentioned. Uh, what is the connection among the three strangers? It, it has also been shown to each other. Okay. Later on, we have seen that there are some other questions as well. First one, what is a hyperbole? Already, what is hyperbole? Exaggeration. In uh, ordinary language, you can say it's an exaggeration. Okay. Have you got any exaggerated or hyperbole? Is yeah, obviously a number of hyperboles we have got here. Uh, is it a, uh, what is a monologue? How do you prove the poem is a monologue? Do you think that if the poem is a monologue, dramatic monologue? Obviously, we have seen that the poem is a monologue. Yet there is a speaker. He speaks. And there is a silent listener to whom he addresses. And frequently he mentions that we, I, you, you, we, etc. Okay. And my face is shown where? In my eye, sorry, in your eyes and your face. Thine in mind appears. It means that there are how many people are there? Two people are there. Only one is speaking. Identify the Sejora and Stratomic pause. You are may not uh, that familiar with this one. The second, uh, the last thing is what parallelism already uh, we have mentioned uh, reduplications, anaphora, alliteration, rhetorical uh, questions. Then interrogative. What is the difference between the interrogative and rhetorical questions? You know it. Uh, interrogative means one uh, need you, you need an answer, but rhetorical questions you need not answer. Answer, answer lies in the question. Then exclamation uh, and invocation. Invocation means what? To address someone else. Invocation means to address someone else. To get the permission to pray to someone else. Here we have seen that they haven't prayed to anyone else. Okay? And metonymy and metaphor. There is no metonymy as well, but there is a metaphor as well. There are some other questions you have seen. Yes, later on I am coming here as well. Gradually. What is conceit? Already you have mentioned. And what the conceits you have are used in the poem, it is also given. What is a lyricism? In which way the good morning is a lyric poem? Uh, you have seen that. How? Whenever we will analyze the meter of the poem, you see that the meter is a similar. Each and every stanza. At the same time, there are three stanzas and each and every stanza consists of the similar lines. And you have seen 
it can be also turned into a song. So, what is a lady poem? Lady poem. That poem is considered as a intent to be sung or it has a music ability music ability when you can turn it into a song in the music it's called a lyricism okay. to some extent not uh, always okay uh, analyze the poem lexical perspective now we are going to analyze the lexical perspective but before doing it we will try to some other things as well of the poem so any question from your side please Lady point. To be a lady point, there should have uh, some musical ability features, musical ability, rhyme scheme, and what meter must be the regular, and then of what the lines of the each and every stanza should be the equal. More important is that whether it can be turned into turn into a song or music is important okay. anyone any question regarding the poem so sir um, it's like that the tagore poems are not the same most of the poems are uh, tagore poems are uh, lyric poems there is no doubt okay Modern poems are different because uh, there is no line limitations and meters are not the equal and there is no rhyme scheme as well. Okay, they are just telling some stories. Uh, anyone any questions? So thank you everyone.